How you doing, Coach Sluderman? Ah, doing great. Good to have you on the show again. Yeah, appreciate being here. All right, so you had a game against Dover. How'd that go? Yeah, it was a uh, it was a good night for us. Uh, we got off to a good start. Um, jumped out, I think, to a five zero lead. Played our kind of basketball. You know, got after him on defense. Got some good open looks on offense. Um, you know, as the game went on, it kind of had back and forth there. A little tied it up before half. Went on a little six zero run there before halftime, and then. Second half, we were able to pull away. Uh, I think ended up winning close to 16, 17 points. Got a, had a good night. Uh, scored a lot of points. Uh, gave up a lot of points, but uh, what happens in that kind of basketball game. So Yeah. Hey, at least you guys were able to keep uh, keep yourselves going. Yeah, you know, uh, we had really good balanced scoring uh, throughout the night. We had, I think, five different kids in double figures last night, so that's always really good. And uh had some kids step up, play some good minutes off the bench, and maybe it didn't, you know, score. Emma Bailey played a lot of minutes last night and didn't get in the scoring column, but gave us some good minutes, and uh, Madison Davidson as well. Right. So, um, how do you feel about what, like, what Dover was doing? Like, were they ever doing anything that was kind of starting to worry you a little bit? Oh, uh, you know, they they have so many different kids that can score. Mm. Um, so you have to pretty much guard your man, guard your man. And that was one of our keys to last night is we talked about winning your matchup, you know, try to outscore your matchup, try to hold your matchup, you know, to less points than what you're getting. Right. Um, Dover's a good basketball team. That was actually last night was their first loss of the year. Mm -hmm. um, and they're going to be somebody that we have to deal with the rest of the year. They're, they're, they have a good basketball team and I'm sure we'll have a couple more good games. I hope so. Um, so, was there any player whose performance stood out this game? Uh, you know, like I said earlier, just a, a good team effort. You mm -hmm. know, Corey did well, you know, dishing, driving, getting past her man a lot. Carly finished underneath the basket. Um, you know, Morgan hit some shots there that were some tough ones. Bailey Cow had 16 points last night, which is well above her normal average. Um, did a good job attacking the basket. Mm -hmm. Madison Davidson, you know Shay Taylor. We all. It was a good team effort. Everybody that got in there contributed to the win for sure. Right. It's always good when the team is able to work together. As yeah, we and that's that's when we're at our best. So right. we have to have multiple people that score, which makes us really hard to guard. Yeah. And last night, you know, Bailey Cow got to step up and you know get a few more shot attempts by the based on the way they were guarding us, and she did a good job of handling that. All right. So, um. How do you feel going into a uh, game uh, against Baptist Prep? Yeah, you know, uh, the main thing we're worried about is we've played a lot of basketball in the last couple of days. Mm. I think this last night was our fourth game in six days, so mm. you don't want your legs to go. That's pretty yeah. important for the style of play that we play. So today will be kind of a little bit of a lighter day at practice, and then tomorrow we'll really focus in on Baptist Prep. And we have to go on the road, which is mm. never easy. Mm -mm. Um, it's a long bus ride down there and playing in their gym, so it'll be a tough test for us for sure. I hope you guys manage to make it through. I hope nobody gets, you know. Yeah, you never want to go into a lost Christmas break and all that stuff. Right, so yeah. You always want to end on a good note. Absolutely. So uh, it'll be a good be a good game for us on Friday night. So uh, how, how did it go playing in the Tournament of Champions? Uh, you know, it was a good experience for us, first of all. to First of all, to get invited to a, a tournament like that that's all about showcasing girl athletes in our area um, was big for our program and our school that we got to go up there and experience that. Um, the girls really enjoyed the experience of playing against some really, really good competition. There were several kids there that are, have Division One scholarship offers. Oh, wow. Um, we faced three different Oklahoma schools, mm -hmm. and all three of them were, you know, really good competition for us. Unfortunately, we were only able to win one of the games, um, and we knew going in that it was going to be a tough week, and as far as like the experience and what we got out of it, I think that's going to carry over as our season progresses. Just the little lessons that we learned about, you know, what to do against really good competition. Right, and that must have been such a uh, really cool experience for uh, the team getting to go and do. Yeah, that. you know, I told the girls as like a coach, you always want to get invited to that kind of stuff because right. that means your program is doing the right things mm -hmm. and. You know, as a coach, you know, probably check that one off the bucket list of getting invited to a, yeah. a prestigious tournament like that that's been around for 25 years. Right. Um, so, like I said, definitely a cool experience, something we'll all look back on one day and remember that we got to go that opportunity to go play in it. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, well, that's all the questions we have. Thank you for joining right. us on the show again. I appreciate it, guys.